Hello my lovelies. So Christmas is over. I hope you had a good one. We had a lovely time. Uh, we stayed at my sister's in laws you know, Christmas Day and Boxing Day. And today I had to sit down and be back to work and filming. So I've just filmed a video which you will see after New Year. I filmed my 2023 favourites. So look out for that video. So you will see me looking exactly the same. But yes, we had a wonderful time. I am very busy still this week before New Year because we've seen some friends and also I have 10 people, um, family coming for dinner to me. But I vlogged a bit before Christmas and I bought something that made me so, so happy. So, um, I will show you now what I managed to film before Christmas, so enjoy. Good morning my lovelies. The day hasn't started well at all. So first of all, my vlogging camera I think is dead now. I've just turned it on and when I press the record button nothing happens. It is really old battered so maybe it's time for a new one they are so expensive though um so that happened so i'm filming on my phone and i've just propped my phone on my container beautiful container with some brushes and when i was fiddling with the phone everything fell off and my beautiful glass has broken. I've had it for so long. I absolutely love it. It's like mercury glass with this embellishment and look. At first I thought brilliant because it fell behind my um, dressing table. So I thought, oh no, all the brushes will be all over. But when I looked, it was st just standing like that and all the brushes was, were in there. I thought, how lucky. But then I picked it up and the bottom fell off so i'm really upset i love this thing i think i got it years ago in home sense so anyway that hasn't started well but what i really wanted to show you so i'm getting ready to i don't know where to look when i'm on the phone i can't remember so i'm looking at you not myself um i'm going to go and film a video uh, but i wanted to show something i just washed my hair you know my roots are quite big now again and my hair is really long and when my roots get that big my hair doesn't look good for for many days i really need to wash it every day i don't because i put it up um but when i freshly have my highlights done i can go without washing my hair for days so what i do what is a good idea to do i use the dry shampoo after i've washed my hair and just dried it before i style it and i really like this one i like quite a few i don't know if this because i'm filming on like the selfie camera if this is back to front probably this is the this is the soap and glory the rush over scent sensational dry shampoo it smells really nice as well i really really like it it doesn't make your hair you know like crunchy but i feel so it stops the oils before they even start, start coming through and also i feel like it gives me a bit more body when i style hair after this so i just i spray just in the crown of my hair smells really nice well I like it and then I rub it in wait a bit and then I will start styling but um, I think it's good to do that with whatever hair I think it really prolongs the time before you have to wash your hair again so yes that's what I wanted to tell you I'm having my hair done actually 
beginning of January. I've booked it. I'm going back to the salon. I enjoyed it so much last time. So I'm going to the salon again. Um, but yeah, my roots are quite big now. Right, I better carry on getting ready. Hello, my lovelies. I'm on my new vlogging camera. <laughs> So I've told you my camera broke and I was so upset I was crying to Paul and he said oh I get you one new one for Christmas so he bought me this one he's so sweet but yeah that camera I had was like years and years old and eventually gave up so I am waiting to go in to doctor surgery so i don't know about two three weeks ago i had a phone call they scheduled this phone call which was my hrt review and it was so pointless waste of their time the nhs money honestly because whoever called me it wasn't a doctor so she had no access to my um, records she knew nothing about my situation she had completely false information whatever information she had not false but not correct and i've told her so she was asking me questions you know about my weight my blood pressure how i'm doing on them and i told her i mean this might be a bit too much information but Obviously, you know, I've got IOD and my periods have never stopped with it, but got much, much lighter and I was quite regular with them. And probably from the summer, they started becoming a bit erratic. And then for the last two and a half months, I basically had a period every day. One day might not be there, but I'm talking about just spotting. So... I thought this is a bit odd but I, I wasn't worried so much because obviously I've just been to early on this year you know I've had my colonoscopies I've had I've seen the gynecologist I've seen uh, my menopause specialist so I wasn't too worried I'm, I was just thinking oh you know that's what happens I'm probably at the end of my period so Anyway, I told her that and she said, oh, I need to speak to a GP. And that was it. And I heard nothing. And then suddenly the other day I got a text that I've got this appointment with the GP. So that's why I'm here. I don't know what they want to tell me. Um, but honestly, ladies, we have to take charge of our own health because... I feel like I've sorted my bloating myself just by taking um, magnesium citrate and that apple cider vinegar. You know, the doctors didn't solve it for me. And when it comes to menopause, we know that GPs don't really know much. I think they just go by whatever guidance protocol they have from above. I actually watched really, really interesting interview uh with dr oh, what was her name but she is a menopause specialist and it was so interesting i might leave you the link to it and of course i've been watching dr Bar barbara taylor the menopause barbie uh, she's amazing i feel like the gps and it's not their fault apparently at that interview in that interview that doctor said that when she was in medical school they had just six hours in her whole education on menopause and that was years ago but anyway we will see what she says i'll let you know and then after that i'm going to pop in quickly to a shop because i want to buy like a woven basket i don't know if i told you in my previous um 
vlog that I bought small console table for my hallway. It just fits. I was so scared. I was measuring it a hundred times. But this is like my token of the reclaimed wood aesthetics that I'm into now. Uh, so I've put in my hallway, but if I feel that it is in a way there, I can always put it, you know, in my dining room behind me where I'm filming. So I have other places that I can put it, but I love it. Um, I, I will show you later. He arrived um, last night, really late. Um, yeah, I need to check if I told you about it because I don't want to repeat myself. Anyway, I better go and see the doctor. Okay, I'm out of there. What? Well, honestly, so I sat down, she goes, how can I help you? I'm like, I don't know. You called me here, you've summoned me here. So she had to then read through the things while I'm here. Oh, I have to have more scans. So she said that it could be just a normal thing because obviously everything is going haywire uh, because you know I'm almost menopausal or they worry that it could be womb cancer so now I have to go for another scan and I've only had a scan in the summer I was in the summer with the gynecologist but she said oh yeah but that's different so she said she's going to put it as an urgent. I'm not going to hold my breath because last year, it was last year in November that I went first for the bloating, worrying about the ovarian cancer. They <clears throat> referred me urgently for a scan and I only just got the appointment two months ago, a month ago for the scan. So I waited a year, but obviously I cancelled it because I went privately in the end because I was really worried I wasn't going to wait a year so she said that this scan is going to be urgent so we will see um, I might actually see if I can go private but I don't really want to bother with all this it's it's just a few days before Christmas so oh my god I hate going to doctors anyway she was really lovely <laughs> but she looked about 12 years old honestly she was so young <laughs> But she was lovely. Right, I'm gonna pop into that shop now and see if I can get some baskets. So here is my console table. It's really gorgeous. I think it is, it's reclaimed wood. I think it's mango. It's not stained, but I think it's lucky to be protected. So you see under there, I need a basket or a couple of baskets because I used to keep here Louise towels in like a little ottoman um, and I've only put something on the top of it that I already had but it would be nice to to style it for different occasions this big mirror has always been there and it doesn't really go because he has these crushed diamonds, whatever they are. But I think I'm just going to leave it there. Yes, so I really love it. And by the way, I didn't find any baskets. Well, I found two, but you know how I cannot make a decision. I kept looking and going back to them. So... I'll probably just leave it for now if I'm not sure I will just keep looking after Christmas um, and see if I can find something that I really love I just had a great idea <laughs> I thought I will put something in that vase on this new console table something that looks more Christmassy so I just went out into our road we have like a row of different trees here and these are ours because it's a private road so I haven't stolen it I've cut off 
some greenery and I'm going to put it in a bus. Let me show you. So I've got some of these and look at that. I really like this. So I'm going to do maybe like an arrangement. Oh look, this is Paul's terrarium. I don't know if I've ever shown you, but Paul loves this thing. It's got like its own ecosystem. And he trims it and sprays it. Here he's got a spray. So yes, he really he loves real plants. You know, I'm not very good at it. I never i always kill anything real so <laughs> but he loves it so he's bought himself this terrarium it's cute it's really nice i think it looks nice okay i've done it what do you think these are so cute i don't know what they are but they look quite christmasy don't they so Here's my Christmassy vase. Looks like, I hope they will last. I think these things last quite a long time without water. I don't have water in that vase. It's very heavy. It's filled with sand because I used to have just like twigs in it. So I didn't want it to fall over. This vase is very old. I don't even know where I bought it. I love it. Oh, and look, and I had a little bit left, so I just tucked it in there. Oh my God, now I want to keep decorating it. I might have to go in the loft and find some lights or something. <laughs> Hello, my lovelies. Do you like my long hair? These are hair extensions. I've just finished this minute filming this look, showing you how I do it. Um, but I've got something important to tell you. So I just had an email from Sigma Beauty and they are going to have amazing sales. So from December 27th until January the 2nd, it will be up to 75% off site-wide and you will get additional 15% off with my code. So huge, huge savings. So if you've ever wanted any of the Sigma eyeshadow palettes or brushes, their brushes are very good, very good quality. So remember, between December 27th and January the 2nd, up to 70% off site-wide and with my additional 15% off. So have a look in the description box for the code. So it's only a couple of days till Christmas. Um, Paul has gone out with his friend from work. They always meet up with, before Christmas and exchange cards, have lunch and, and that sort of stuff. And I'm just pottering around. Like I said, I've just filmed the video. I think I'm gonna film one more, but not before Christmas because really I should have taken like two weeks off, but somehow I can't do it. I have ordered a basket to go under my new console table, but it was too small. It's so difficult when you read the sizes. When it came, it was actually smaller than what the sizes said. So I think I will have to, after Christmas, go out and try to find one or two but you would not believe how <laughs> this console table have made me happy I look at it every day I will just stand and look at it absolutely love it and um, I wish I had a huge hallway that I could have a huge console table and keep styling it different ways I love long hair so much. I don't look good in long hair. I know a lot of you tell me I do, but I, I can't, I don't know, I'm not convinced, but I just love the look of long hair and I can't stop playing with it. So today I'm going to enjoy this hair and play with it. 
We are going um, away for Christmas to Paul's sister's. She doesn't live that far away from us, about 40 minutes drive. And we're staying there till Boxing Day. So I won't have any videos, I don't think, between Christmas and New Year. So the schedule of my videos will be a bit all over the place for like the next couple of weeks I would say. You know things like that always throw you off and it takes a while to get back into the routine. And then there will be the time to... Oh and because after Christmas, um, just before New Year, I have another side of Paul's family coming out to me for dinner. So I will be busy that week as well. We are seeing friends as well in that week between Christmas and New Year. So this that week will be very busy. So I cannot imagine myself filming anything. So I am wishing you a happy, prosperous New Year. And that's when I'm going to see you. So stay fabulous and I will see you next year. Bye.